Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my workbench. It's been a hag of a week. Um, so, I got a tired learning computer here. But story first. So on Tuesday I'm driving in the work. I get all the way to work. I have like a 25 mile commute. Get to work. Go to pull in my parking spot. And... I hear this horrible clunk and grinding noise. It's like, oh, that's not good. So I get out of the car and the wheels are like, the front wheels are like this. Not good. So uh, car makes this horrible sound, all that fun stuff. So long story short, gotta get my tar car towed. I just had a wheel alignment done 11 days before, so it's like, okay, what's going on here? So we'll get the car towed to a local, um, local place, and ball joint failed on it. So, I mean, we didn't know if it was going to be a fatal wound or, or a repair, a normal repair. Thank goodness it was just 500 and some odd dollars and ball joint and CV joint. took the CV joint out when it failed, but anyway, it wasn't too bad of a damage. And there's like a little tiny panel gaps there, but it's no one would even notice unless you were looking for it. So long story short, I thought I was going to have to buy a new car, but I didn't. So, back to the learning computer. Well, very interesting. So, I got my scope hooked up. This is your uh, TX and RX lines. So there are beam when you I'll turn off the learning computer. You can see that um, the line is getting pulled. Let's see why is that one so high? That must be from the uh, other machine. So the line is getting pulled down to the proper negative voltage. Uh, uh, RS two thirty two is a little weird. It actually is a low voltage like minus 12 and like the positive bits actually zero it's just how they do it, it, it's, it the reason you do negative voltage is that it's better for um, uh, corrosion long story anyway um, so the weird thing is you can see the learning computer you turn it on that port does go your uh, the line does go gets pulled down properly and I can walk over to my machine here. The problem is I'm not getting I send serial I attempt to send serial down the line and it's just not working so I don't know if they didn't implement the UART chip correctly or what. It has to have some sort of UART because it has a mouse on it. And that mouse is almost certainly some derivative, if not serial, the um, ADB, the Apple Data Bus. But the Apple Data Bus is serial as well, so I don't quite get what's going on here. I think. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what it is. Anyway. Uh, maybe I'll go and pull out the... Turn this off, it's annoying. Um, maybe I'll step away from the serial port for now. It might be dead. Or never implemented is my guess. Because I've heard others have tried to implement... Because there are... For the regular Apple II... E? E. Um... They do have programs where you can plug in a serial. There's a serial software which can, like, emulate a drive or something, or it uses, like, Kermit or something, so you can actually transfer files. Let me get my scope out of the way. That's going to bring me back to trying to. Bear with me a second here. Let me get my, my bucket of fun. That's the other tiger I'm working on. Tiger learning computer, uh, Tiger products tend to 
be a touch challenging. Get this out of the way. Right. So, where we last left off is oh, this guy here. Basically, actually works. Never tried. Ten or nineteen. Print. What's the command for clear memory? Oh, I don't know the Apple basic commands. Ooh, okay, 10, I'll say 19. was funny. I didn't do anything. It's reset, so. Oh, this tickles me. Really? Oh, return it to LT win. Oh, thanks. Ten. Print. Basic doesn't work. Hello. Interesting. Alright. But I digress. So, let's see. Pull the current. Put in the virtual current. Let's see if she freaks out. freak out. Good sign. So let's think here. So I want the that top row goes to top which should be just like so. So if I plug this in This is where we left off last time. So, I think I make a good contact. Is it just this little length of wires all it takes to freak this thing out? What do I have to ask? Of course I will. <sighs> Comport doesn't work. 
Mouse is still a mystery. Basic doesn't work. Go through all this work, custom making this. This doesn't work. Try one last time. Okay. That's the bottom, which goes to this one. This one, I can see, goes to this one. Learning computer is not freaking out, but it does not see the drive. Well, can't talk to it serially. Can't write a basic program. It's got a printer. What the hell will that do for me? I doubt they have printer hardware implemented. The parallel port implemented correctly. So, what does that leave me with? I tried hand wiring it before, but now I'm going to make. This is something I tried to hand wired before. That didn't work well. So next up, I'm going to make a circuit board that will plug into a Z here, into this programmer, and uh, see if I can talk to it. But at this point, don't know, man. Someday, I will beat this thing. If anyone has like a spare uh, ADB mouse out there, shoot me an email. It's uh, retro at cyberfreak.com with a PH for the freak. So, <sighs> tried serial mouse, serial mouse didn't work. I have. This guy here, this is a auto switching serial mouse. Um, this one does serial or PS2, and it is neither. So if you plug the mouse in, plug this in. Yes, we didn't know the game. Okay, there goes one of my lights. Get back up there. Yikes. What happened there? A little behind the scenes. Light. I'm not usually this handsome, so I'll do the lighting. Alright. What the hell was that? I don't want her to destroy this rarest and most precious of gifts known as the learning computer. Because I know this thing is. I think I only know of two people who have this me, and this is on investigation alone from uh, Brandon and uh, what's his name uh, is it 8-bit guy I think it's 8-bit guy yeah pretty sure it's 8-bit guy uh, on YouTube uh, he has one of these too but I'm not entirely sure or I might be mistaken there's not a lot of them yeah you know, like I said you plug in your old mouse Incompatible, but this thing is supposed to. This is actually it's both a serial and a PS2, so it should auto negotiate this as serial, which really indicates to me this is a. Um, unfortunately, they all use the same DIN uh, connector, Deutsch Interconnect something. That's what the N stands for. Well, uh, it's a German standard. Um, you've probably seen this many times before. Kind of looks like an S video, but it's actually what they call DIN. Uh, the same pins as your standard old. I mean, it's got six pins, got the exact same pins, plugs right in, but uh, no worky. So the problem is serial is different from uh, ADB. That goofy Apple data bus. Hopefully nothing else falls on me today. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna crack this open and see.
see if I can see if it's even powering up. Oh, God, I love these old mice, don't you? They're fantastic. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, that wasn't my DNA. Bought this used. Okay. Yeah, so. Ugh. Okay, more fuzzies. Um, how these worked. What the? Get over there. So, in case you ever wonder how one of these works. Get this stupid thing off the, out of the way. So, how it works is there are. Um, this is a LED and a phototransistor pair. And that's an LED phototransistor pair. And if you look sideways, that's a code wheel. So as you move your mouse, um, it's what's known, uh, you get um, quadrature encoding. So as A leads B, you're going one direction. As B leads A, you get the other direction. So as you move your mouse around, it'll actually um, be able to, the chip there determines, okay, which direction we're going, and then it sends the signal to the um, computer saying you've moved this axis Y and there's a cruder one on the you see here it's the same it's down below here there's a photo transistor uh, and a LED pair as well and it's a very crude code wheel you can see that so modern mice of course are optical and what does optical mean it's actually a really low resolution um, camera and as you move it over surface it'll pick up the little imperfections as it moves over the surface and the little chip will figure out okay how much how much has it moved over a surface kind of neat actually kind of a neat solution but that's how optical mice work this is technically this is an optical mouse because he uses optical uh, code wheels to do it anyway enough history for now uh long story short oh it's actually really nicely made I think this is an actual Microsoft, is it? Yeah, it's a real Microsoft mouse. Um, so long story short, um, it must mean that this, well, it's an actual Microsoft chip, 1997. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but your modern chip, uh, modern things are all, it's it emulating the same pulse train that comes off of there. All right. How do you pop this up so I can actually read it? Well, you know what? I could just make some basic assumptions here. Should have put my oscilloscope back. Um, generally speaking, your uh, every IC is usually of like And the um, the final pins usually VCC or ground voltage comma collector. In case you ever you ever hear term VCC, that's what it means. Voltage comma collector. Your TTL logic as well. Transistor transistor. So if I plug this, let me pull. The, let's see. Let's look at it. Channel one. Channel one. What do we have? Let's do one volt of division. Channel one, which is the green one. Actually, I'll flip these around so I don't confuse myself. Channel one's yellow. Channel one. Let's be looking at one channel. Channel one will be the. I'll take this probe off. Channel one. Scope, you pull up that off, and you got your nice little, little pointy little probe right there. So, if we plug this in, let's see if we're getting power at this thing. Oh. Why must you turn your screen off so fast? Take your power, take it. There you go. Live. 
That's actually a serial train. Huh. Interesting. Huh. This is alive. Mouse is actually getting powered up. Which means our friend the learning computer doesn't understand. Which reinforces my conviction that it is. See, it's powered up right, but I don't think um, it's the right format. Because a regular serial mouse... Oh, man, I'm getting in the weeds here. A regular serial mouse is just like a... a it's really a low baud device. I think it's like 9600 baud, or maybe even less than that. And, uh, am I missing a part? It's like a 9600 baud device, and it, um, just sends a, uh, as you move the mouse, it sends a XY pairing, uh, to the, it just gives you a, a a delta with change in position. This is a serial text, more or less. So, plug it back in one last time. So it is getting powered up. Chips powering up, so the pins are right. I'm getting no talkie. The problem with the, the ADB is called ADB because it's a data bus, and it was really low baud rate. It was something crazy like 300 baud, but it would enumerate the devices because you would be able to plug your keyboard in with a squiggly uh, um, cable on it and you'd be able to plug your mouse into the keyboard and each of them would be addressed just like a USB device you'd have address one address two and everything would come down the data bus <sighs> well now I need to go back into the photos I've taken the x-rays I've seen I have and design a my best guess at the pinout on the end of this thing. I got a pretty good idea, but I'm not going to have you sit here and watch me draw a schematic for two hours to figure it out. Alright. Oh, and in other tech news, the Sony laptop, I have found one replacement motherboard and it sold. And now I can't find anything for not outlandish prices. So I'm still looking around. They don't pop up very often on eBay, which is really frustrating. And so I saw one for like 60 bucks. I was about to buy it. And then it was like, poof, gone. It's like, oh, really? So still working on that. Maybe I can find one with a broken screen and just steal the motherboard out of it, which is always possible. I mean, you find one with a broken screen, no hard drive, because I don't need either of those. I just need the motherboard. But, uh... Still working on that, and I'll come back to my own personal project, the learning computer, oh, sorry, the, the uh, Gamecom, I need to finish wire that up, there's not much left to it, I've just been unmotivated, unmotivated with the car trying to fall apart and kill me, that's fine now, uh, but yeah, yeah, thanks for watching, hopefully that wasn't too depressing or confusing, I know it was depressing and confusing for me, so everyone have a great night.